All right, here we go, guys. You guys ready? Let's go. All right. Three, two, one, go. Wee. All right, we got Haxer on the left and we have Narfman on the right. Currently, right now, Haxer has the most points in the tournament. He averages about 10 points per game. Narfman also has a large amount of points as well. Taking damage right there in 1-1 is not going to cause him that much of any problems, which is actually, it's actually pretty good, so it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and see here. So first and foremost, no inventory stars and neither of them have died. No inventory stars and neither of them have died. So that is the start. So Narfman slipping up a little bit at the start here. I don't know which power-up he is going to choose to get. I think the fortress uh, power-up is the one that he's going to want to get. He's going to want to grab the first question blocks, give him a mushroom, and then the second one is going to give him the flowers. That'll be really, really good here uh, to see how this goes for uh, either one of them. Uh, intentionally avoiding the death waffle on uh, Haxer's side, which is actually a pretty good idea. You, you don't want to chance it. Um, and when you grab the power up uh, at the beginning of this level, you do actually have to wait for that annoying Potaboo. So either way, again, so Haxer will be the first one to attempt the MFP tunnel. So it's right here. We are good to go. It goes up. Level's looking good. Keeps the P-Speed there. That's good. Makes it easy setup. Duck jump. Oh, he touches his feet. Oh my gosh! Wow! Oh, and he takes damage there! How? How did he take damage there? That's incredible. Narfan coming up for the MFP tunnel. Does he get it? He turned back way too fast and does not get the MFP tunnel. But he does slam right through there. And uh, wow. Saved it, then oofed it. Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened there, but whatever happened, happened. So we get to see how long this power up right here does take. So you're going to see Narfman actually catch up just a little bit from not having to go for that power-up. So this is a close race already, ladies and gentlemen. Both of them doing very well. Congratulations to both of them. Making it through this world. Right on. All right. Oh... It, this is a weird situation. Hacks are getting the movement of one, but not the fire flower. Narf man getting the movement of two, but he gets the fire flower. Very interesting stuff right here. Right on. They are both in the in the dog throne at the same time. Very interesting race so far. We we'll get this. We we'll, we'll get to really see how this shape up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. I'm so excited to take a sip of my sodies. Remember, it's their first fire flower that they grab is the one that they have to hold on to. So the damage that Haxer took, he is not penalized for that at all. He hasn't even got fire flower yet. How can he be pe penalized, right? Yes, we will be having a finals after party in my stream after this. Don't worry, guys. We'll have the finals after party. We'll talk about who gets the cash. We'll talk about who gets the women. All right, don't worry. All right, standard fire kill on Haxer's side. Missed one fireball, that's okay. He goes for the stomp, he nails it. Narf man with a double shot. Misses a fireball as well, goes for the stomp. Both with the exact same outcome right there. Boom. Right on. Right on. Okay, so the next point that they can uh, acquire is a 292 in the pipe in 2-2. And again, like we've seen before, we've really seen some of these guys really uh, smash out these uh, worlds in, in World 2. Or these levels in World 2. They've done really well, uh, in my opinion. Not a lot of people have really made huge mistakes in uh, some of these other non-point non levels. So it's really, really cool to watch. Hacks are often for the turn back here. Sometimes you can get lucky with the uh, with the flower, which you just saw. Narfman gets the double flower. Narfman has a, like a 99% chance of getting a flower in 2-2. Trust me, we've seen it. So Hax is going to be the first one to try and go for the 292. 297. 
He's got the 296, 295, 294. He's got it. 293. He oh, he did not get it. Wow. And Narf Man also does not get it either. Wow, that was like last frame stuff right there. Wow, dude. That was some last frame time changes. Holy crap. You hate to see that. He th I thought he had it. He had he had to have thought he had it. And so and I did too. I was like, he's got it. It's right. Literally last frame change. Amazing. Oh, Narf Man getting the faster P speed. It's gonna allow him to catch up a little bit of time here. Not a massive amount, of course, but a little bit. Right on. They're both professionals at pressing up when they're over the doorway. Maybe this isn't Super Mario World doorways work in this game. Sometimes if you're not lined up with the door, the door pulls you in and you enter the door. Must be nice. All right, both with the fire kill, both looking good and both have the original power up. It's exactly what they want. We might see some weird different things happen here. Okay, hacks are not getting a no death early hammer and is Narf Man going to go for the music box? He is not going to go for the music box. So time management here. Narf Man is actually going to save time on Haxer. Uh, Haxer's meta that he's decided to choose is get the music box in World 2 for a safe World 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, which, in my opinion, is a pretty good idea. But if you are able to skip the Hammer Brother and not get screwed over by RNG, then it's a bad idea. But it's Mario 3, right? When does RNG not get in our way? So it looks like if Haxer doesn't go for the music box, he's gonna make a choice here. Uh, ooh, Narf Man is in an annoying spot. Narf Man goes up to 2-4. Oh! What? Jumped a little too big there, and he almost just got tornadoed right there, so... Oh, no! Narf Man with the... Uh... Um, three hits of damage in the sun level. Oh no. Well, that is. Whew. I'm out of breath on that one. I don't, I don't know what to say about that one, you guys. Because, um, yeah, the sun level. The sun level! Alright, well... Hey man, he's got nothing to lose if he goes for Jesus Clip. How about, how about we just throw that out there right now? Narf Man can go for Jesus Clip, whereas Haxer can't. So we'll see how this goes. However, Narf Man did unfortunately lose his lead, so we'll see how this goes. I'm definitely blown away by that. But again, yeah, he can go for Jesus Clip. Uh, he can go for... Uh, the ass point, you know? Like, there's lots of points he can go for right now. Alright, here we go. There's no power-up. He has to grab his power-up in the airship, which means he might not get the points. Um, for killing the boss with a 221 or higher if he doesn't know his hammer kills. Hacks are getting a movement of 2. So that is going to be the same as a movement of 1, just a faster reaction. So we'll see how this goes. I hope Narf Man has learned, because he's gotten- Narf Man has gotten this far in the tournament, so I hope he has learned that it is not over here. Boost that morale up, start thinking positive, do not let your- your brain run amok here with, uh, bad thoughts based on that. That does suck, and I admit, the sun level, that's- I don't know if that's been seen before, but, you know, that's- You can get through it, it'll be fine, you got- like I said, you got Jesus Clip, you got Ass Point, um, you know, th there's lots of- there's more risks you can take with less- with less punishments because you've already died. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, Haxer's gonna be the first one to try and get the point here on the boss. Hopefully he remembers it was a movement of two and not a movement of one. I'm sure he does remember. So 221 or higher. The pattern is the same as movement of one. Just gotta have to react a little bit faster. So you shoot, then you shoot two, and then there we go. Boom. Tries to go for the off-screen wall grab. Does not get the clip into the wall, so he doesn't get a chance at it. 
and that's what happens with the with the off-screen wand grab. You need you need to try and get the clip into the wall so that you get the jump. Yeah, Narf Man getting the weird 100% pattern. He's not gonna be able to secure it. Does he go for off-screen wand grab? Oh, he got the clip into the wall, but he didn't get the jump. Dang, man, that that would have cleared his name, dude. That would have cleared his name. That would have been 1.5 points. Where's off-screen wand grab? There it is, right there. Damn, he got the clip. All he had to do was jump on the wall. And then, of course, time it. All right, Hacks are going for the first frame jump. And 3-1. Does not get it. Dang, dude. He tried, though. He tried. They all try for it. Very well done. Very well done. All right, it's Narfman. So now... So this is where Narfman really needs to start cleaning up these points. He's got to get this first frame jump. He gets it! Oh my god, he is listening right now. He knows he needs to clean up these points. No more dicking around. That's how it's gonna be. All right, Haxer, pretty good RNG right there, making sure he's not getting a, a runaway. So he's probably he's probably a little calm with it. You hate it when he moves up. Not getting the fast P speed. But he should be all right here, as long as he doesn't go through any fish, which I don't think he will. Pretty standard uh, recovery for the mistake, and he looks pretty good. It looks like he nailed it. Narfman, however, with the scare RNG right there. Um, if he gets fast P-Speed, he might be able to catch up a little bit here. He does nail the fast P-Speed. Gets the pop. Does he get the double pop? Pop, pop. He's good to go. He's No worries about coin ships right now. As long as he doesn't get fanfare, he's good. All right, Haxer in 3-3, one of the more easier levels, but still can make mistakes. I do all the time. All right, avoids coin ship as well. Narfman sadly gets runaway, bro. However, however, he does get a movement of two, which means the Hammer Brother can run back. Also, the Hammer Brother moved down below the fortress, which means he can skip the Hammer Brother if he wants to. Haxer opting to use the music box here to skip this, bro. Uh, which is probably a pretty clean move. He's got an idea. Does he get door three though? He does not get door three. Dang it. This is where Narfman can do a pretty serious catch up right here. If he gets door three, he'll, he'll restore some of his points and he'll get a little time boost. To try and get back in the lead. Let's see if he goes, he goes for door three. Does he get door three? Oh, he gets door three. What in the actual heck is on Narfman's case right now? Holy crap. That catch up and the point. Door 3 is not random. Both of the points in this world are single frame inputs. Skip it. Skip it. There you go. Sorry, guys. I had to yell at him. Does not get P-Speed, whereas Hacks are... Oh, he was going to build P-Speed there. That was weird. Uh, maybe Narfman is not used to that mistake. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. All right. Let's see what happens to Haxer. Axer is going to... Oh, he's going to do the double screen. So, Narfman is actually going to catch up uh, a su substantial amount here. Yep. And that's it. So, Haxer goes for the extra music box, but then was forced to fight the Hammer Brothers anyways, causing him to lip lapity around uh, World 3, which is very unfortunate. Had the Hammer Brother moved over the Mushroom House, Haxer probably would have just got out of here. However, Narfman has to has to go for the fortress in world four however he's already died and lost his original power up so this is actually shaping up pretty nicely for narf men um had he not gotten some solid rng and some really good single frame inputs from 3-1 in the door three uh this race would not be as nearly as close as it is now it is close now um i don't think that I we're gonna see anyone go for the wendy point here which makes sense narf man with the amazing h jump hacks are annihilating 3-8 uh, it is going to be his turn at the H jump, though. So we'll see how Haxer does in the H jump. He's done very well with all of his PCP strategies in this world so far, except for 3 2. But that would. Dude, 3 2 is like almost random sometimes. <laughs> no matter what you do. All right. So he's going to make work. Pop up the bomb. Very nicely done. Keeps the leg kicking speed. And Narfman is out of this world. So Haxer still has. Um, an advantage of three points as long as Haxer doesn't take damage. The pressure for him is really high. He doesn't know that he has that high pressure, but the pressure is very high for him right now. It, he slips up once, then he's instantly losing, right? If he takes damage here, he's like, it's almost like he's losing. 
Um, he is obviously not going to be losing in points, but the time difference now without having the three point advantage, plus if Narf Man goes for Jesus Clip, which we know Haxer wouldn't. Even if Haxer took damage, he still shouldn't go for Jesus Clip, whereas Narf Man has got nothing to lose at this point. Sometimes, honest, if I was running in this point system tournament race, the first thing I would do is run into the Piranha Plant in 1-1 and just die. All right, there you go. Take him away. Now let's start. I get the original power up. Jesus Clip. Go for Jesus Clip again because I died and didn't get the points. You know how it is, guys. I doubt that we're going to see either of them uh, bust out the Wendy point, but I could be wrong. I have been wrong lots of times before. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I thought he was going for it. How dare you trick me like that. Little Jabater right there. Hey, yeah, dude, guys, we get lots of coin ship. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Done. Down for the count. Down for the count. Can you guys believe that hacks are lost over, I don't know, 20 seconds? Close to 20 seconds in World 3 from the Hammer Brother mishap. Adding the additional 12 seconds, or, you know, 10 seconds he used on the Boomerang Bro music box to prevent what he... Was unable to prevent, so it's really annoying uh, outcome right there for him. So that's okay. We got World Four RNG. I really think we're gonna see Narf Man go for this point here. So let's let's think about Narf Man's position. Okay, he died, so he knows he's behind those points, right? Um, which means if Haxer hasn't gotten any points, then Narf Man knows Haxer only has 1.5. So if Narf Man gets the ass clip. Then that means he, in his mind, if Haxer got no points, he'd be tied up with points without that three-point advantage. And that's it. So that's why I think he might go for the ass point. And they, they both just annihilated 4-1, uh, doing the despawn strategy in 4-2 on Narf Man's side. And then Haxer finishing up 4-1. Uh, yeah, I don't mean ass clip. I mean the ass point. Sorry. Regardless, the ass, guys. Just know that it's the ass. All right? Bad RNG on Narf Man's side. Luckily, those Hammer Brothers wasn't in a marathon because they would have they would have tagged along that cloud if they moved in that direction. Then it would have been a, a three-way marathon there. And that is just a nightmare. <laughs> Dude, a three-way marathon would suck so hard. Hacks are getting really good World 4 RNG. Minus that movement of four, but uh, the safe security of getting the cloud early is very comforting. Very, very comforting. If only you didn't die in lava from stars, then you could use the star for Jesus Clip. <laughs> no way. Nice try. Yeah, he's got to go for it. All right. Has he practiced this level? That's the question. <sighs> he had it. Now he's getting screwed over by momentum. He made it, though. Oh, that sucks. But he had it, right? He definitely had it. So he didn't lose anything there. He just lost time. That's it. Now Haxer takes the lead. Uh, in time. Ah, uh, Narf Man. All he had to do was just duck jump a little later and he would have been safe. And his cloud is also gone. So that is a you hate to see it moment. Nice. Narf Man getting P-Speed. Haxer also destroying... 4-2 right there. They both did very, very good job. Narf Man's not done yet, though, so we'll see. See if he gets sniped here. Oh, he jumped out of water. He might get sniped. Very close to getting sniped. That was pretty close. Haxer gets to see his RNG setup. Looks like a box list so far, which is good. However, he has to get two instances of luck here to guarantee a box list. So we don't know if he's going to actually get the box list or not. Let's see. Narf Man's setup of RNG sounds horrible. Looks horrible, too. That... Uh, that's either the P-Wing or the Cloud, so he's in he's in luck. Yeah, so he's in luck, right? I mean, that's fine. Hopefully the Cloud moves to the right here. I have no idea, guys. I don't even know. 
Don't ask me, I have no clue what that is. Unfortunately, he did have to take the longer level. He does grab the power up. And Haxer is able to make his way like super clean through World 4 here. Um, does he have to use a music box here? He already used this music box. The Hammer Brothers moved out of the way. That's pretty good. It's still a movement of one. Uh, there's not really much he can do about that. He, he took it as, as it happened. Narfman still needs this cloud though. Where is it though? I hope he doesn't think that he has the cloud because this can be a very, very uh, bad mistake here. Oh my gosh. I think he tried to duck jump there. This race is still anyone's game, so it's not too crazy. Oh, he's screwed over anyways. Yeah. Oh, you hate to see that, dude. He got screwed over anyways. Yeah. Oh, you know what that means. Unfortunate, man. All the hard work from World 3, man. He did so well in World 3 just to have his points taken away. And he's not going to be able to get the fire kill. Bumping on the overworld map. Slip slopping around. You are not going to be able to win a cash prize with that kind of movement there, Narf, man. You better, you better, you better slick it up, bud. I have faith in you. I know you can do it. All right, we are on the long airship. What's going on, guys? How is chat doing right now? going on guys narf is off his game today three places are paid so somebody is getting money tonight yeah grab the sody pop all right hackster as long as he gets his fire kill he's pretty good at this fire kill so he should be all right oh miss this fireball as long as he doesn't go through the boss Looking pretty good. Oh, that's so scary right there. Very scary. There's no match to decide, it's all points, right? All four of them raced today, so the person with the most points is in first. Obviously, person with the second most, person with the third most, and person with the least. All right, Haxer's in World 5. Gotta go, chat! Back to the game. Chat is closed. All right, Haxer in 5-1. Very possible to take damage. We saw Calco take the most random damage we've ever seen, so hopefully Haxer's got this under control. Looking pretty good. Nice, right, looking pretty clean. Does the turn back to get his double shots just to make sure, man. Just for that little bit of safety. He's got one world left. Narf man coming up for the fire kill. Little delay into the pipe. Ah, uh, he didn't make it, but that's okay. There's the stomp kill. All right. Right for the off-screen wand grab, man. That would have been really good for him. All right, let's scroll down right here. Scroll down. Hacks are not falling down the shaft of despair. Which is good, you never want to fall down that shaft. You can rub the walls of the shaft, but you don't want to run down the shaft. Rubbing the walls of the shaft is a good thing. Alright, so it looks like Narfman is a solid two, two and a quarter levels behind. Two and a pipe transition behind, right? Axe are not getting any movements of four yet, so his world four is looking pretty good. World 4 is looking pretty good. Narf man still bumping and slip slopping on the overworld map. He's got to get it together, man. Nice, gets the kill. He really doesn't want to. Ooh, that was weird. He really doesn't want to lose his fire flower here. He might. He doesn't get punished, but he still needs it for time. He needs to catch up with time. So no movements of four will be really good for Narf man. Only if Haxer gets movements of four. And Narfman instantly got a movement of four, so that is um, very unfortunate. You hate to see that. God, that's annoying, isn't it? 
does the does the shaft a little bit faster than Haxor, so we'll catch up a little bit there. Ooh, another little body rub. That's actually pretty good. Haxor, unfortunately, getting bad RNG. Not much he can do about that. But it is a P-Wing. Oh, no, he had already gotten bad RNG, and there was nothing he could do about it. Yeah, the World 5 Hammer Brothers are pretty... Oh, Haxor getting the movement of four, so both of them, unfortunately, are punished for those movements of four. But Haxor still has not taken damage, so he is on the right track for that beautiful power-up. That beautiful, beautiful, smell-goody power-up. Nice good twisty castle with Narf Man with a good fortress so far. They're both doing very well in the levels they're in right now. Haxor keep peace speed. Narf Man also keep peace speed. Looking hot right now. No worries for coin ship on Haxor's side. And it looks like Narf Man's pretty safe for coin ships as well. Looking pretty good. Narf Man is gonna use a music box, which is good. Yeah, he needs to use a music box. That's right, that's right, because he was unable to in World 4, so he gets, uh, gets to save a little bit of time. He does lose peace speed here, how is he going to build it back? This is the third time tonight we've seen from people. He's get oh, the duck strategy! That's the strat that I would have used. That's a good one. That is a good one. Alright, Hax is on 5-4, he's moving on to 5-5 five five now. <sighs> Almost takes damage, very clean though. Vertical pipe's not working. 6-5, six, 65 coins for Narf. But he's pretty secure on coin ships here. Axe are eliminating coin ship though. But there's no Hammer Brothers on his screen, but he just doesn't want to worry about it. As long as no one takes damage. It'll be very unfortunate if Narfman dies on Jesus Clip. He needs Jesus Clip really badly. Going for the swag kill. Oh, the shoot bounce. All right, now Hax has got to get through this fortress. After he's through this fortress, he's, he's in pretty good shape. He's in pretty good shape just to make the world sick, so he should be all right. He should... Looks like he's not probably going to take any damage or anything. Yeah, he looks pretty clean. Narfman is not too far behind, so it's looking pretty good. However, the stupid music box is stuck. He's going to have to get him out. 76 here. That'll be good for him. All right. Is he going to go for Jesus Clip? He's gonna fight the Hammer Brother just to scare him. If there was a sub-pixel manipulation, you would be able to use this Hammer Brother battle uh, to help you. But we'll see what happens. He's gotta go for it, right? He's already died. He only loses 0.5. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jesus clip has spoken. The Jesus clip had said, No entry for thee. And it was written. Where's Narfman gonna get his power up? Is it gonna be at the start of the next level? I think it might. I think it might be the start of the next level. So a lot of people think that the Jesus clip setup is like, do a big jump at the first two block, but what you should keep in mind for Jesus clip, all you have to do is do a duck jump at the very edge of the, of the brick. And that will line you up. Yes, he's gonna get the power up here. Okay, good, 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 good. Is he gonna go back for P-Speed? Yes, he is. Oh my god, early P-Speed, new strategy. How did anyone ever come up with this? How did we miss it? What's wrong with us? Just kidding, he had to get the mushroom. <laughs> no early P-Speed, guys. No strategy there. Hey guys, we've seen a lot of mishmash happen in World 7. It's not over. It's not over. There's so much that can happen. 
There's so much that can happen. Like Narf Man with zero points. Whew. This race is intense right now. Oh, we're on little airship. How's it going, guys? I already did add the deck. I'm not watching chat. I can't see what you guys are saying. Unless I'm on the airship. Alright, so here we go. World 6. The best world in the world. As long as Haxer does not take damage at any point or accidentally equipped anything he doesn't need, he gets this point. Hammer Brother Battle went fine. Hammer Brother Battle looking good. And he gets it. Gets the three points, baby! Dark Man, unfortunately, will not be able to get those points. Ooh! When you jump too early, you go right through him. The boss, when the boss opens up and you stomp on him at the same time as he opens up, his hitbox isn't loaded yet. So you will, or like, I don't, I don't, I want to say hitbox, but apparently it is because it still damages you, but um, your ability to stomp on him isn't, I don't know, it's weird, man. It's just really weird. Here we go. All right. Let's see if he gets the early P speed. It looks like he, uh, yeah, dude, he had to do the, the readjust, kind of like do a quick turn back in the air. All right, Narf men. You got to clean it up here. There it is. Yep. You got to clean it up here. Axe are getting some pretty good RNG here. However, he is going to have to get lucky. He, Haxer is going to have to get lucky here. Narfman is just not his race today. Haxer not getting lucky, unfortunately, but that's okay. Not much he can do about it. Nice, Narfman getting the extra power up there. That's going to help him get across the spikes. He's looking pretty clean. Go for the despawn right here. Gets the tail swipe. Hey, he's got it for sure. There it is. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Now, Narfman has finished the fortress, so it's now his time to move on to these next few levels. But first, he's got to get a marathon and wait on the overworld map like an idiot. Not his fault, obviously. There's nothing you can do about it. Unfortunate. I love when the Hammer Brothers make me look like an idiot, too. We just, we're just trying to play the video game, and they're making us sit there like a jackass. Stupid Hammer Brothers. But he's out. He's out of the jail. And now Haxer's in the fortress with the tail. Uh, very clean strategies. And he makes it. Other than that, there's, there's only like two squi There's only two scares there that are pretty rough. Narfman making very good work. That is the right hammer, brother Narfman. You are good to go. Oh, not going for the quick death. Quick death is very scary. There we go. We got the cloud. If the hammer brother does a movement of left here, he is safe. Narfman does not have to do the extra hammer brother. He is safe. Right on. Nicely done. Haxer with a good block grab. I know it can be pretty trolly sometimes. And his P-Speed. Does he take intentional damage for the wall jump or not? He does take intentional damage for the wall jump. So he is going to go for wall jump first try here. So let's get ready. Is Haxer going to get all the points in this world? Right here. There it is. We're ready. Wall jump. Right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, he did not get the right pixel, unfortunately. You hate to see it. He got the right pixel there, but he missed this jump. There you go. Third try jump. You love to see it. What's done is done. Unfortunately, he does not get the extra points, but that is okay. A lot of people in the tournament think that when you get that three-point swing in World 6 for not taking damage, that is an, like an, almost an easy win after that. But we'll see. If Haxer ends up taking damage or something weird happens, that will drop his points. He is going to go for the clip. This is going to be very exciting. Let's see if he gets it. It's a very important clip. Oh, I swear to God, that was so close. He almost got the clip. But almost getting the clip is not getting the clip. So 
It happens. Narf Man making good work at this level as well. He does have a chance to gain a little bit of points here to try and get wall jump first try. Let's see if he takes intentional damage. He does take intentional damage. So let's see how his wall jump game is. Haxer done with the world. He is out. All right. Come on, Narf Man. It's been a while since you got a point. It's your time now. It's your time to get a point. This is for you. Ah, oh, I think he jumped a little too early. No sub pixels. Not working good. There he is. There we go. Third try as well. They both took three tries to get it. Looking good. Alright, if he gets this point, it'll be very good, man. It'll be very good for him. Gotta build P-Speed here. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Dude, so close, man. I love that that mushroom is the thing now, man. That makes that makes the point so much more... You know what I mean? You might as well... When During the first bracket stages, nobody went for that mushroom, right? This is pretty interesting. Okay, so we are going to see Haxer do the more adaptive um, sub-pixel manipulation. Um, the one that I had created. I put a, a video on it, YouTube, explaining it. But essentially what he's going to do is he's going to move one pixel to the right. So he's guaranteed low sub-pixel value. Then he's going to move one pixel to the left to try and hit sub-pixel value 14 or 15. So we can get the stand clip. So let's go ahead and see if he does it here. Watch his legs. He's got to move one pixel. There you go. And then you move one pixel to the left. So... He should be getting 7-1 first try here. I don't know. It's hard for me to tell because I don't know how hard he pushed one pixel to the left. Um, so if he did press a little too hard, he is definitely on sub-pixel value 13, 12, or 11. But if it was one tap, also hearing it helps too. But if he was one tap, that looked like a guaranteed sub-pixel 15. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, but it's not over yet. You still have to execute the jump properly. So let's see what he does here. See what he does here. Seven one first try. Should be getting it. Be right on it. Ah, oh, he jumped too early. That was it. Jumped too early again. He hasn't even got a chance yet. There we go. First try. Technically first try. But um, yeah, not getting the point. But it's it's okay because he got a third try. So he didn't spend, you know what I mean, thirty freaking minutes uh, in that level, which is what makes that level annoying. It's not like it's not so much not getting the clip first try. It's Spending 15 tries on the clips. All right, the 7-2 meta with the P-Wing. See the fast strats right there? Those are the fast strats. You essentially just neutral off all the ledges and you float. So let's see what Narf Man's gonna do, what kind of setup he's gonna do. Looks like Narf Man is gonna go for a... Move one pixel to the right. All right. So as long as he's comfortable with the strategy, hacks are almost, I wanna say almost dying, but that mistake is so common that most runners know when you stand still, uh, you're okay. Going on 7-3 right now. All right, Narf man, come on. You need to start collecting points here, bud. Let's see what we got right here. 7-1, first try, does he get it? Oh, he also misses the jump as well. He turns left way too fast after his attempt. Hopefully he gets it soon. That was a good jump. That was just bad RNG. That was a good jump, a bad RNG. That was a good jump, a bad RNG. Good jumps, man. He's doing good jumps. There we go. Right on. Hacks are going to go for the sub-pixel manipulation right here. He's going to move one pixel to the right. Then he's going to move just a little bit more so he can kind of secure it. All right, so Narfman is not going to go for a P-Wing here. I don't think he has a P-Wing, but he's going to do his, his interesting backtrack. Let's see, Haxer, does he get first try clip? He does not get the first try clip either for some reason. That just does not work for him. 
Narf man making good work with the P-Speed strategies. Hacks are getting really bad RNG. This flip is not working for him. Very annoying right here. He'll get it soon, though. As long as he doesn't enter the level by accident. that That's the worst part, entering that level by accident. As long as you don't press up on the D-pad. Oh, man, that's scary. He gets the clip. He is good to go. All right. Now, Haxer has a very, very healthy lead right now. Uh, so 7-7 seven, seven can screw him over uh, for a little bit here. But you don't want to see it screw him over to the point where he's got to enter the level and get the heck out of there. So let's see how he does here. I don't think we're going to see a 7-7 seven, seven battle uh, in this race. He got it, but he got bad RNG. Narf Man's catching up! Scary! What's happening? Gets it again! Bad RNG! That's what happens! Got it again! Bad RNG! Narf Man using the Peewing strats. Getting through this nice and comfortably. He's also gonna go for uh, a sub-pixel manipulation here. Let's see if he does it. Moves one pixel to the right, and then he moved a little bit. So he should be getting this first try. I can tell you right now, just by look, he is on the right sub-pixel. Fingers on the trigger, right here. As long as he doesn't mess up his jump. Ah, oh, he messed up his jump, unfortunately. Messed up his jump again. All right, bad RNG there. He gets it. He has caught up the hacks are seven seven ladies and gentlemen no one ever told anyone they had to go for it but it is in some people's mind it is a free point i would agree to some extent but there are situations they are caught up now so is narf man gonna go for seven seven he is they are in the same level ladies and gentlemen if narf man gets his first try he is clean sweep on his way home Gonna have to jump a little bit further than that. He's jumping a little too far back. Oh my gosh, he almost got it there. Oh my god, what? Narfan gets it and he takes the lead. What in the actual heck is that right now? That is extremely clutch. That is what you want to see because this race was almost dead, but this kind of. What happens here? Uses a P Wing. Holy. Holy crap, man! Takes the damage. Tries to go for the meme clip. Haxer's still stuck in jail. He's gotten it about six times now with the bad RNG. All right, Narf, man. He's going for the first and third. Does he get it? No, he does not get it, but he's going to get the heck out of there. Haxer, 24 seconds left. He should be fine. Haxer should be fine. Right, we just saw Teeks do it with who knows how much time left. Don't forget that Fire Flower. He's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. Hacks is out of there. Oh, yeah. He's safe. He's good. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. Cloud Music Box. And he is out of there. Bump it. Narf Man. I'm sick and tired of those bumps on the overworld map, but you've lost like 15 seconds from those overworld bumps. All right, it's Haxer's turn. Haxer's turn. Clip three and four. If Haxer gets clip three and four right now, this is like, God, this, this hype lead that Narf just got is like so not a thing. Oh my gosh, he got one. Oh no, he didn't get the second one. That's three times tonight we have seen that. That is three times. Hacks are not making the same mistake as before. He's got to go back and get his Fire Flower. All right, looking good. He's got his Fire Flower. He is getting the heck out of there. He is not happy with this World 7. This World 7 has dicked him around quite a bit. 7-1 didn't work. 7-2 worked, but didn't work. 7-3 worked. Fortress worked. 7-6 didn't work. 7-7 didn't work. 7-9 worked, but didn't work. A very annoying world so far. Ooh, Narf Man. If, he, if Narf Man clipped too early, he could have died there. It would have pushed him to the edge of the screen and he would have got squished. He would have got squished. Squished did it. All right, looking good. All right, I can open up chat again. What's going on, chat?
Got my extra sodi pop. I barely finished my other one. This is an exciting- Dude, all the races are- Dude, every race we've watched has been pretty exciting. Except for that one that- <laughs> That one that Calco had where he got stuck in World 3 and he, he didn't know what to do and he played like six extra levels. Other than that, um... But that was just a mistake. That's That didn't make the race bad. That was just a silly mistake. <sighs> Dude, if Narf Man gets Rangless, no hands, first try clip and stuff, like this is crazy. Original power up. All right, here we go. Yeah, don't jump too l early. Like that, that was scary. Going for the Oscar Water Guy. 45-33 for World 2. Right on, looking good. Just updating the points right here, guys. Updating some of these points. Everything's looking good. Somebody is walking home with $100 today. Cash prize funded by me. If you guys want to be in Season 2 of this point system tournament, it'll take place sometime in the fall. All you need is under one hour warpless to qualify. That's it. You have like six, five, four, I don't even know how many months to get a sub one hour in warpless and you automatically qualify. You submit it to speedruns live or speedruns.com. I verify it already because I'm a mod. You have sub one hour. If you sign up for the tournament come fall, then you are already in. Hacks are going with the stomp. As long as he doesn't go through the boss, he should be good. Or if he gets the off screen wand grab, it'll be even better. Oh! I love to see them trying for it though, it's very important. All right, last question. My go-to sodi pop is Coca-Cola. Nice and fresh. But that doesn't mean I don't like drinks like Dr. Pepper and cream soda. That stuff's really good. All right. Go, Axer has entered the world as long as they keep their original power up. No dicking around. These are auto scrollers, guys. These are easy. I know you know them. These are very experienced runners, guys. They got it. They have it under control. I, I have faith in them. They know what they're doing. They know See, look at them. The D the, the D like strats are actually advanced strats. And you want to know what makes them advanced strats? It's not what you think. It's the fact that we're all too lazy, including myself, to practice auto scrollers. So when you see someone don't go for D-like strats, it's only because they're like, uh, I don't care. <laughs> it's mainly what it is. I developed the D-like strats. Okay, hold on. Rangless. Does he get Rangless? He does not. When the Boomerang Bro moves backwards, it is no hope for the Rangless. Unfortunate. So if Haxer gets Rangless, that is just another thing that Haxer has on top of him. Alright. I swear, Narf Man, if you... I don't think he's done one correct movement this entire run. I'm gonna have to have a little talk with him. But the Narf man. He's lost like a minute in overworld map movement. <laughs> yeah, the bumps are crazy, man. Definitely lost over 30 seconds from overworld bumps, for sure. All right, Hacks getting out of the, getting out of there. He's making his way done. Does Haxer get Wrangless? Haxer needs Wrangless here to make his his lead bigger. He needs a bigger lead. Does not get Wrangless for himself either, unfortunately. That is a you hate to see it moment. Beep, 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 beep. Alright, let's see what kind of hands Narf gets. What kind of hands does Narf Man get? <laughs> Alright, I think it's on the trigger. Come, come on, Narf, you gotta get some points. Let's see what happens here. Ah, oh, I thought he got it! I got sound jabated. 
Very, very close there. Very, very close there. Last hand, though, which means only one hand. So he's doing very well in time. He's doing very well in time. All right, he's on the Air Force. He has passed the hands. Haxer needs no hands here. Narf, you almost died there. Needs to keep that original power up. All right, Haxer's hand. Haxer's turn at the no hands right here. Uh, my button. My button's right there. Here we go. No hands for Haxer. Oh, he also gets hand three. Wow, these guys are really making a sweat here. All right, Narfman makes it out. So Narfman is about a minute ahead of Haxer, which means if Narfman somehow miraculously gets sub 54, which I don't think is very possible from here, guys. I'm, I'm sorry to have to be the one to say it, but it's looking like 56 games. Haxer just doesn't want to take damage here and neither does Narf. He's not opting for the fast strategies. Not worth it. Oh, he does keep the P-Speed, though. Looking smooth. Looking very smooth. All right, looking good. Sand of shame, man. I I'd feel there's no shame in taking the sand of shame. He's not taking it. This level is just scary, guys. He made it through though! Look at that! He made it through! Alright, now it's Haxer's hand at... Haxer's hand at 8-1 and 8-2. There he goes, he goes for 8-1. Pretty good. Narfman doing his clean, clean beginning. No early P-speed, but he gets the later P-speed. Looking good. 8-1, very clean. Very clean and safe. Is Haxer the only one today who's gonna take the Sand of Shame? Everyone else has done 7-2 or 8-2 normally. Is he, Haxer gonna be the only one to take the shame? <laughs> Haxer! I, I knew he was. That's what He's done it all tournament. No shame in the Sand of Shame, guys. No shame. Guys, very close to a sub-54 race. Very close to a sub-54. Pretty good. That's the H door. Gonna approach this door slow because it's such a meme. Yeah, get rid of that door. Doors for garbage men. Nice clean door. Only in randomizer do you have to worry about one cycling this. You don't you can't mess up the one cycle in warpless. It doesn't really work. Because like the, the death waffles and everything are set up in a very specific way. Um, where you just turn back and you're good to go. Alright, Narf Man making clean work here. As long as no damage is done. Does Narfman get the clip? That's the question. He needs the clip. He needs some points. Oh! He gets the clip. Look at that, man. Wow. And he even ran over the elevator. 
Right? That's that's the strategy that I use. I like that strategy. Something about the elevator. I don't know, man. But it worked. Alright, it's got the scary room. This is like one of the scariest peace speed levels ever. Oh, dude, he almost slipped and fell. Alright, here we go. What is happening right now? Alright, he's in a good standing spot. Don't move. Get ready to duck! Good to go. Do not take damage. Yeah, okay. Alright, so. Narf man's time. Looks like a 55... Looks like a 55-23 with points. He got first, sub-60, and original power-up with 5.5 points. Hacks are not getting the wall clip, needs it. Hacks are doing the stairs. As long as Haxer doesn't take damage, he gets the original power-up and second place and sub-60, so he should be with some good juicy points. Goes to the jump there. Does not want his P-Speed. This room is really trolly with P-Speed sometimes. Alright, looking hot. I oh, just gotta get rid of the Bowser kill. That's it. Looking good. Slowly inches forward. He's a little too far forward. He turns around. Alright, he's pretty good. Alright, he's pretty good. Right on. So hacks are second place, sub 60, original power up. Hacks are time. Hacks are time is a 56.38. 56.38. With a total points of 8. Go. So if they tie, this is really going to help out Narf Man a lot. All right, they're going to take a quick five minute break, three to five minute break. If you guys want to know the points right here, there they are right there. Time and points right there for you guys. I. I just told Narf to stop overworld bumping, and he just started laughing. Yo, I can see chat, guys. I can see chat. I'm here with you guys. We have one more race. Game two, guys. We're moving on to game two. Narfman has, what, 5.5? That's right. And Haxer has eight.
Oh, man. Let's do it. All right. Three, two, one. Go! Woo! Narf man, not paying attention. So we're, depending, uh, until something happens, we're gonna have to go based on time. So it seems like Narf man has a delay on his stream. So that, that'll be okay. So if a streamer has a little bit of delay on their stream, when they react to what I type in Discord, the reaction of their stream will be delayed to obviously when I said go. So that's, that's all there is. I can't change the delay here. The only way I can do it is potentially pause his video, but what it doesn't matter. It's okay. It's, it's a six second delay that will be changed by the time one gets a lead and one doesn't. So it'll be okay. The bikini babes. Let's just blame it on the bikini babes. We can have hacks or sound, but his volume is ridiculous. It's like super low. So we can do hackster's volume for a while if you guys want. It's just going to make me much louder. Oh, Haxer almost losing P-Speed there, but he nails it. He nails it. Haxer... Oh, Haxer falls! What? Oh, he, he... Dude, that's so stupid. He had that instant P-Speed loss thing. You know how you guys watch me do runs and I reset when that happens? Yep, that's why. God, that sucks. All right, looks like Narfman is going to be the first one. First one at MFP Tunnel. Come on, buddy. You got it last time. Haxer and you both need to get the MFP Tunnel, man. We need you to get it. All right, gets his P-Speed back. All right, goes for the duck jump, gets the duck jump. Oh, he does not get the tunnel, but he keeps P-Speed. Haxer's turn at the MFP tunnel. He does not get the MFP tunnel. Both of them screwed over. Neither of them have used their inventory stars, and neither of them have died yet at the start of 1.5 advantage for both of them. All right, looking good. As you guys can see, Haxer sounds a little too quiet. When I talk a lot, you can't really hear the Mario 3 music. Um, that's okay, we can switch. Technically, technically, Narf's in the lead. All right, this volume is a little bit letter, uh, better in my opinion, just based on uh, volume, but either way. Narfman getting the flower from this card, that should eliminate some turnbacks. I'm going to be hyper-focused on Narfman's overworld movements. I swear to God, <laughs> he made it. Dude, he just saved like a minute on his last run right there. All right, dude, situation's reversed, man. Hacks are getting the in-level fire flower with a movement of two, where Narfman gets a movement of one with no in-level fire flower. It's very interesting the way the way this uh, works out. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You love to see it. All right. All right. Here we go, airship strategies. Unfortunately, neither of them got the MFP tunnel, but that's okay. Looks like everyone is having a lot of fun with this tournament, so um, I want to take this opportunity to just thank you guys so much for uh, enjoying this tournament. There's only going to technically be a couple races left. After this race right now, we will have the finals. Once we get that scheduled, um, uh, most likely it's probably going to be next weekend, I'd say. Next weekend's probably a, a good time for us to have it. Um, and we will successfully be able to get this tournament done in one month. How awesome is that? Right, both getting the fire killed. Boom! Done. Right on. Woo! Alright, so Haxer behind by a little bit. Narfman taking the lead. Uh, plus that extra delay time, so... What does it look like? One touches the boss hand at 352. Haxer's touches at 401. Nine second lead Narfman has. It doesn't look like nine seconds. One, two, three, four, five. It's like a five second. Yeah, the, the delay and timer screws it up. It's like a five second lead. It's pretty good. All right. As we've, as we've seen, everyone makes heavy work with 2-1. Oh, Narfman does the body rub. Looks like he's going for uh, sub-pixel manipulation for 2-2. Two, two. He wants to get that P-Speed. Oh, he does. He runs off the ledge. He's been watching. Haxer randomly loses P-Speed. Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. All right. Ooh, Narf Man with a Fire Flower. That is scary to see it, man. I hope he knows how to fix this problem. But here we go. 
292 in the pipe. Dark man, 280, 297. Oh, no way. He did too much running. Yeah, Haxa did way too much running as well. Neither of them are going to get it. That's okay. 290. Oh, and he doesn't get the fanfare. That is so good, man. That's scary. You guys have seen me get three flowers in this situation so many times. I don't want to say I wanted it to happen to someone, but... Jesus already! Come on! <laughs> oh, dude. Narfman losing that peace speed. A great opportunity for Haxer to catch up at least a second here. Look at that. Boom. Right there. He's a pipe transition away. You love to see it. Narfman making good work. All right. I'm excited to watch Narfman do the sun level. I've never... I don't know if... um. Maybe he forgot how to do it? Oh, got a little scared there, but that's okay. He's gonna be able to get... Oh, the, the other duck. He's being a little too overcautious, if you ask me. He's a little scared right now. You can see it. You can see it in the moon, but that's okay, man. I get nervous for every GDQ run I do, so... I understand the nerves. Alright, Haxer unfortunately has the annoying RNG where he doesn't know what path he's taking. Uh, which can hinder his gameplay because he actually has to do the screen transition and then decide right away after the sun level what he plans on doing. Whereas Narf Man, all he has to do is go in the direction of the Hammer Brother. Whereas Haxer does not have that option. So we'll see how this goes. However, Haxer does have the, um, get the music box strategy. He does do that strategy, so... Oh, Narf Man is in an annoying situation. So Narf Man, oh, Haxer's in a pretty good spot here if he wants both of these. So let's see what Narf Man does here. Come on, Narf. Come on, bud. I can see his webcam right now, and he's very serious in this level. Oh, yeah. I've never seen someone work so hard for the sun level. <laughs> oh, the sun level. That's so silly. What a stupid level. But he does it. He nails it. Very good job on his side. He's gonna go for the slower level. Haxer gets the old switcheroo. Uh, boomerang bro moving forward, which means Haxer loses a little bit of time, only compared to the boomerang bro moving backwards. If Narf Man's Hammer Brother moves forward, that's no big sweat off his back. Haxer is actually opting to not go for the music box here. This is very interesting. Uh, he is in a situation where he doesn't get screwed over and he gets movement ones. Narf Man is also in a situation where he is ready to just go. Um, hopefully Narfman knows his boss patterns from in between the, uh, castle and the pyramid. Um, but he has displayed that he knows his patterns pretty well, so let's see what he does here. The only one he didn't know is that random 100% one, so. Alright, the hardest level in World 2. Alright, Haxer shooting the Piranha Plant, causing no lag. Does he get Sticky Hill? Hopefully not. He does not. Does he take damage? He does not. He knows that way too well, and he is out of there. So the boomerang bro moved backwards for Narf Man, so he does actually save a bit of time. However, he grabbed that chest a little too late. Haxer grabbed his chest a lot faster. Haxer is a pro chest grabber. All right, good race, good race. Uh, Haxer's not way in the lead. Haxer's behind right now. Mav. Who's chest grabber? Yeah! Ah! No way! Wow! Narfman got.
got it, but Haxer did not. What in the actual heck, dude? That is... It's swinging! It is swinging! This is... Not another one of these races, guys. My heart, man. My heart can't handle these kinds of races. I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. I can't handle it. This is so much right now. All right. Keep your eyes on Narkman's screen. Does he get first frame jump out of the water? Let's see. Finger on the trigger. He gets it. Oh my gosh. Does Haxer get it? Haxer does not get it. These points right now. This is incredible. What is going to happen from here on out? I don't even know. What? Holy crap. Alright, what? He didn't... What was he trying to do there? Knock at the star? That was confusing, but whatever. Alright, Narfman, safe! Haxer, safe! Safe for another turn. Narfman, not getting quick P-speed. Haxer! Gets the quick P-speed! He's definitely gonna get the lead! Don't take damage, Narf! Oh my... <sighs> <laughs> Those fish are so trolly. All right, he's out of there. He is safe. Remember, guys, it's not all about time, but he does want to win the race. He needs those extra points for winning this race in time. See how it goes. Haxer is definitely safe uh, from Runaway Bro right now. Let's see. Narfman is still pretty safe as well. Haxer getting his P speed. No worries. Narfman getting his P speed. No worries. Looking pretty good on. Oh! Get out of there! All right, he's pretty good. He's safe. All right, that's all it is. <sighs> remember remember my stream like a couple days ago when I did runs and I landed in the water and the fish instantly damaged me? Like, what? All right, Haxer, come on. You need to get a point, man. You got to get a point here. Door three, this is yours. Oh, come on. We've seen him get it many times before. Narf man, is he going to get door three? Oh, he flip-flops. That's okay, though. Oh, Narfman does not get door three either. He not only needed to get door three for the point, but he needed it for time. It would have caught, he would have caught up there. So he is unfortunately behind um, a large amount here. He's going to need to do something to catch up and not take any damage. This is going to be crazy right now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Haxer looks like he is in a very safe position for no runaway, bro. And hopefully Narfman is as well. Narfman move down if he does. Narfman is technically safe, but he's making the right decision here. This is the right decision. If that if that Hammer Brother moves down uh, for Narfman, he should not screen transition and fight him. He should go back and fight the other one first, so he doesn't do a double screen transition. He will lose like five or six seconds doing two extra screen transitions. So let's see what he does here. Hammer Brother moves up, goes for it. Hammer Brother moves down, go for the other one. Yep, go for it. All right, there it is. Good decisions. Hacks are making good work of three, four. Ooh, see, this is Narf Man's not the pro chess grabber. You see, we've already established. We already know who's the pro chess grabber here. All right, Haxer is a hammer brother and a little bit ahead of Narf Man. Narf Man gets low pattern, saves a little bit of time on Haxer who had to do a water battle. That's pretty good. Now, hopefully, Narf Man is uh, conscious of fighting. Was that a was that an overworld bump? Guys, did we just hear an overworld bump? We did, didn't we? That was it. I heard it. He tried to sneak it past me when I was talking. Not this time. All right, he didn't get gulped, which is very good. All right, Haxer, he's on 3-9. So he's gonna, yep, land. And he gets it, right on. H jump. H. All right, now it's Narfman's turn. Nails it. Nails it. Congratulations to both of them. All right, looks like Narfman's about half a level behind him. Which, in my opinion, is not that... Like, that's not that far behind. That's a hand, dude. That's a hand. If they keep this, it's one hand. Narfman with the swag, duck, flower, star, 
mushroom crab. Got my sodi pop. This race is way too crazy. So I got chat open. What's going on, chat? How you guys doing? Semifinals hype has been crazy right now. Four great ra Dude, all the points races have been amazing. Like, every single one. All of them have been absolutely fantastic. Right on. Wear those MFP shirts, guys. Points for no overworld bumps? That would be way too... I'd have to pay attention to every in-between level on both runners. That'd be crazy. Dude, my heart is racing too because Haxer does not have this in the bag at all. One, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got it. Now, I haven't even actually finished a full can of soda. Because I take sips so unoften. I mean, he stomped on him. He might as well have waited, but he did it. That was very scary. That was very scary. All right, guys. See you on the other side. Chat is closed. All right. Here we go. Narfman needs to make up 1.5. That's it. Off-screen wand grab. Third and fourth clip. Jesus clip. Hacks it with a fast P-speed. Very, very casual for him, though. He knows that strategy way too well. Very nicely done on his side. Let's see what Narfman goes to do. Nice. He goes for the safe. A very safe shell, shell strategy. That's the same shell uh, strategy that I use. Haxer with the amazing uh, World 4 RNG again. Let's hope it pays off. Uh, depending on what the Star Bro does, uh, he should be safe no matter the outcome here. No matter the outcome. However, if he beats this level and the Hammer Brother moves left and he sees the other Hammer Brother move right, then we can get some trouble here. We can get some trouble here, but I highly doubt it. I'm pretty sure he's guaranteed safety, and so is Narf Man, actually. You love to actually see that. Haxer with the amazing RNG right there. Again, like I said before, this doesn't do anything at all. The only thing that getting this cloud early does is boosts your morale. It makes you feel better in the world, and it makes you feel more like things are going right. So that's good. All right, we've seen somebody take damage in this level today. Haxer with the bump. Will it disrupt his P-Speed build? It does not. He does get it back. Narfman with the marathon there. Little tiny marathon. I think it was actually a movement of four or six. All right, Hacks with a double bounce. Does he take damage? He does not take damage. All right, now it's Narfman's turn. He's followed right behind. A lot of the same jumps. There's only one way to really do this level. All right, double bounce. Does he take damage? He does not take damage. He ran very, very close. He does the bumps, but that's okay. As long as he doesn't die, man, he's very safe. Hacks with another movement of four there. Really annoying. The instant inventory movement, which is pretty good. All right, here we go. This level's very trolly. Let's hope... Works out for them. Does he get P-Speed? He gets the P-Speed. All right. Narfman's turn here. Uses his hammer. Haxer gets his jump out of the water. Going across. He's going to go for a super swim. It was a very fast one, so I don't think he's going to get sniped. Yep. He's very... He's in there. All right, Narfman. This level's very hard. If that hammer brother moves down, Narfman can do screen transition and have a setup potential uh, for... Uh, boxless. So let's see what Haxer has to do. Haxer is in a boxless position. Narfman doesn't get the third throw. Does he know this setup? He does not know this setup. So he's going to take it slow. He's going to do this super swim. Shoot him. Oh, he's in there. Wow. Wow, that level takes souls. I'm so glad he did that, man. I'm so glad he did that. If he rushed it and just winged it, he would have got screwed. He would have got screwed, but he didn't. Hacks are not getting boxless, unfortunately. And neither does Narfman. But Narfman is also in a clean situation. No. Does he know his hammer, brothers? Not the pro chest grab that we once thought he was. 
Alright, Narf Man has a very, very good chance here of, um... Skipping all three Hammer Brothers in World 5 again, where Haxer might get screwed over and fight all of them. Oh, Narf Man a little scared there. Playing it slow, he's... <gasps> Dude, and there it is. That is something that can cost you everything. So he was safe, but he wasn't expecting the green turtle to fall and bump the red turtle to the right. Don't music box. Now he doesn't have a music box for the Hammer Brothers in World in the bottom of World Five. Maybe music box here will be okay. We'll we'll have to see. We will have to see. Taking damage there is very big. Very big. Again, he hasn't lost any points, so there's still so much that can happen here. There's still so much that can happen. All right. Time for me to open up chat one more time. We are on the long airship. How are you guys feeling about that world? That world four was crazy. No, I don't think he'll go for Jesus Clip because he hasn't died yet. And no, I don't think he needs Jesus Clip. Right? If Haxer messes up or dies, this would even out very, very well. No, I don't think he needs Jesus Clip. He might think to himself, I am going to go for Jesus Clip regardless because of the situation. Remember the situation that I explained in the earlier race? Pog coin counts on both of their sides. The 69. I don't think Narf should go for Jesus Clip. Right? If Haxer takes damage, then Narf's mistake means nothing. Nope, my soda pops Coca Cola. Good shit. All right, hacks are not taking damage. Looking good. Guys, if it was Stewie Cartman, okay, you'd go for Jesus Clip. I'd understand that. Oh shit, what? It's a good thing he's already taking damage. I don't I have no idea what happened there. All right, let's go over to Haxer's side. The Hax volume. All right, chat's closed again. Good luck, Haxer. One more world, bud. One more world you gotta get through. That's it. One more world. All right, troll music box activated when you enter the world. Gotta love it. All right, here he goes. Looking good, not taking damage. Secured his jumps. Does the safe turn back and he's good to go. All right. Dude, if Narf Man got like an off-screen wand grab, that would be way too crazy. Axer not getting a movement of four there, which is pretty good. This is a chance for Narf Man to catch up. As long as Narf Man doesn't get a movement of four, he should be safe. All right, slide strats. Executed. We in there. We are in there. Oh, moving a four! You hate to see it, and I don't think Hax is gonna use a music box here. Oh, Narf Man doesn't know the full big jump strategies, but that's okay. All right, he is out of there. We've seen before in Warpless, not having your Fire Flower at the start of World Five is not that big of a deal. Narf Man not getting a movement of four. Holy crap! We can get some equalizer crap going on here. Narf Man with the faster strategies in 5-2, saving a bit of time here. Axer is going to have to go for the HBs on this one. And another movement of four, just losing the seconds here. Absolutely unfortunate. He got the P-Wing. His Hammer Brother has to move up out of his way. Does he? He does not. And he gets another movement of four. 
Well, let's just go ahead and say he just... Oh, Narf Man just got his movement of fours. So neither of them... Oh, Hax is no longer the chest grab king. You guys see that? Miss the chest. That's not how you grab chests. <laughs> right on. Okay. Hacks are in the twisty castle. This can be a very annoying castle with uh, some derp inputs. But hopefully it's fine. Alright, he's safe. Looking pretty good. Taking damage. Narf does not have his music box. However, Narf did just get really lucky. No, you already used it, Narf. Get out of there. You used it. Narf, go! Go! <laughs> Alright, he's in there. They switched and switched back, so this will be the P-Wing for him. So he will be lucky. He did get lucky. It's okay. We get to we get to stare directly at his inventory. We notice things a lot faster than the runners. Because all, all we have to concentrate on is what we're seeing. We don't have to actually control anything, so. It's all good. Alright. Haxer is moving on to 5-5. Five, five. Very possible for him to take damage here. If this duck jump screws him over. Nope, he got the kill! Oh, snap! Look at that! Imagine accidentally hitting the box and taking the leaf. That would cause you to not get the points, so. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Narf Man hasn't died, but he might go for Jesus Clip. This will be the game saving Jesus Clip if he actually goes for it. Oh my gosh, he almost took damage there. That was the scariest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Holy crap, he almost took damage there. If he would have held his jump, oh man. Nice B speed strategy, there you go. He's in there. He's in there. Dude, imagine missing your jump input there, and you fall in the lava. I don't know if I've seen anyone fall in that lava before. Darth with the P-Wing here. I guess he's got a bunch of extras. Oh! He's been watching with the swag strats. There you go. Hacks are fighting the Hammer Brother right now. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Hax has got a few levels left before he gets a big point boost. He's actually only got a couple levels left. As long as he doesn't take damage here, which... Not normal to see someone take damage here. So hopefully. Side jump off the Koopa for safety. Kind of sets you up. Ooh, Narf, watch out. I don't think Narf is going to go for Jesus Clip here. No Jesus Clip. Understandable. Very understandable. He hasn't died yet. He would lose 1.5 points if he died. Now, I will say, if you died in this fortress, you can go to the Mushroom House and try Jesus Clip because you haven't tried it yet, right? So if you accidentally died inside the fortress, you could re-enter the fortress with a mushroom or a fire flower and go for Jesus Clip. That's, uh, that would also be an interesting strategy, but many people don't really uh, die in that fortress, so it's pretty good. We have seen Stewie. We've seen Stewie take damage in this airship. So, Haxer better be safe here. He looks like he's... Oh! Narf with the damage! But that's okay. He gets it on the airship. So, he should be pretty good. Gets it on the airship. Don't think Hax is going to take damage on this bad boy. Looking pretty safe. Pretty safe. Take it nice and slow. Yeah. Now, this boss is pretty free for lockdown, right? It's pretty free. Oh, wow. That was weird. Pretty free for the hits. Yeah, he's alright. Ooh, goes to the off screen wand grab. Does not get the clip. All he's got to do is fight the hammer, brother, and he gets the points. 
And that's it. Just get the point. And he's good to go. Alright. So Narfman has his fire flower back, so he's looking pretty good. Oh my gosh, a little too close to that cannonball, if you ask me. I really don't see Haxer equipping a P-Wing or taking damage on this Hammer Brothers. So it looks like he has secured his three points here. There we go. And there we go. All right on. He's pretty much in there with those three extra points, boosting him to a 4.5. I don't see him messing up here at all. There we go. 4.5! Narfman, Narfman has to make up, you know, 4 points or something, as long as Haxer doesn't make any up. That's the only way. It's still possible. 7-7 Seven -seven has screwed over every single runner tonight, except for Narfman. So, we'll see, we'll see how the World 7 goes. Nice. Haxer getting that. Also, if Haxer dies, that would be very, very bad. All right, Narfman's turn for the fortress. The fortress is very difficult. All right, here we go. Here we go. Nice, nice juicy movement of four. That's great. All right, Narf Man. Ooh, yeah, he does those interesting little uh, elevator question block strats. I never really saw anyone do do much of that until I watched this. Nice, gets the star. He should be able to secure the uh, the quick out. Right on. Hmm. <laughs> All right, looks like Haxer has a high chance of getting lucky here, but let's let's hope. That's all you can do is hope. Nice, Darkman doing a good 6-4. Haxer does get the luck that he needed. Look at that, and he is ready to go. All right, he's going to go for the Feast Speed strats. Looking pretty clean. Makes a slight mistake, but was able to shake it off all right marathon bro for narf man yay uh they are still going they are still going all right they finally split up and he gets forced to fight the bad one you hate to see that game two is not working out the way we'd hoped but it's still there's still so much crap left we got a lot of crap left guys just throw in that extra movement of four for Knife Man there. You know, whatever. Whatever. It's not like he needs the time save or anything. All right. Hacks are taking the intentional damage because he wants that wall jump point. He needs it. He, he feels he deserves it. Knife Man not getting the despawn. Oh, watch out for the tail swipe. All right. He's good to go. All right. Needs it. Right here. All three points in World 6. All three of them. Ah, oh, he doesn't get the sub pixel. What a ripoff. What a ripoff. Again, he doesn't get the sub pixel. There you go. Third try again. He's got it. Third try both times. Third try both times. Not too bad. Narf man has to fight that hammer, brother. That is the cloud. All right. Haxer's turn at the fortress. Let's see how he's going to do for this one. Going to grab the power up, of course. Oh, yeah. Here he goes. Gets the P-Speed. Does he get the clip, though? Oh, the clip, man. The clip. Come on. We've only seen one person get the clip, right? And it was Narfman. Narfman got the clip in his last race, didn't he? Yep. It was either Narfman or Ibuba, but I'm pretty sure it was Narfman. All right.
right, here we go. Narf Man's gonna set himself up for the wall jump. We've been in this position before. 7-7, seven, seven, man. All right, he's gonna go for the wall jump. If he gets a first try, that'll be really, really good for him. Look at that. Just seeing that three on his scorecard right there is really good, but can't give it to him for free yet. He does not get it for free. All right, here he goes. Oh, he got the pixel. Oh, he didn't do the correct A press. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You hate to see it. Oh, and he gets it again. Not getting the jumps that he needs. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on, A press. When, when this often happens, you're pressing A too early. There we go. Nice. Nice. That feels good to get it. Feels good to get it. Right on. Alright, alright. He's doing pretty good. He's gonna go for this mushroom. This clip will be huge if he gets it. If he gets this clip, oh my gosh. Dude, that looks so close. All right, we're going to see Haxer set up for a sub-pixel manipulation right here. He's going to move one pixel to the right. There you go. There you go, and he moved one pixel to the left. That looked like that might be sub-pixel 14, but very possible for it to be sub-pixel like 13, 12 or something. Hold on one sec, guys. It just got really hot in my office. I don't know why. All right, Haxer going for the 7-1. Standing clip. Is it yours? Oh, I jumped too early again, dude. And it's second try. Second try is not going to get you the points you need. <sighs> second try is not gonna get you the points it happens it happens you hate to see it but it happens all right let's go for the quick peace speed strategy where narf man is making his way through the fortress oh it's swag clip if only there's points for that if only there's points for that All right. Haxer's gonna move on to 7-3 now. It looks like Haxer is um, a good, good chunk of levels um, ahead here. So we're gonna either have to have the most disastrous 7-7 seven, seven, or a death at the end of a level and then a disastrous 7-7 seven, seven for Narfman to uh, catch up. So it'll be very interesting here to see what happens. Narfman is gonna go for the sub-pixel manipulation. Moves one pixel to the right. I hope he knows that when you move one pixel to the right, you cannot do the standing clip. That is not what allows you to do the standing clip. So hopefully he does not go for the standing clip here. All right, Haxer with the P-Wing here. So Haxer is also going to uh, set himself up with a sub-pixel manipulation as well. So for this one, you want to move one pixel to the right, and then you want to tap a little bit more. Just move one or two extra sub-pixels. Uh, the extra tap is the hardest part. Oh, Narf Man with the, the stand clip. Yeah, I think I think somebody needs to tell him that moving one pixel to the right, uh, you, you can't stand clip and do the clip. You have to do the duck clip when you move one pixel to the right. But I think he sees everyone stand clip, so I think he thinks. All right, Haxer's turn. Oh my gosh, Haxer with his second try, man. That's, you hate to see it, but it happens. All right, Narf Man getting the clip. All right, here we go, 7-7. Seven, seven. Haxer needs it. Here we go, 7-7 seven, seven game. 
Oh, he's just saying screw it. Why would he do 7-7 seven, seven, then? This is very strange. Maybe he doesn't want to do 7-8 because it's scary. Like, this is way easier, right? Wow, then that means 7-7 seven, seven could really help Narc, man. Hmm. I don't, know. I don't know how this can go. We'll see, though. Using this music box. You pretty much can't die in this level, so it's not a bad time to use the music box as well. Alright, here we go. We need clips three and four. First try, guys. Three and four, first try. Here we go. Narf man making good work. Seven, three, three, and four. Nah. That sucks. But at least, at least he knows, like, oh, I could just go back and then grab the fire flower. No sweat, right? No sweat. So Narf, if Narf gets the clip, seven, seven, and this seven, three, he can get a lead of, he can, he can add ex three extra points. He can get three extra points on Haxer right here in this world. You guys believe that? That's incredible. So I think it's still kind of uh, anyone's game here. All right, let's see. There you go. All right. <clears throat> he needs this. 7-6. Here we go. First try clip. Oh, he jumped a little too early. You hate to see the early jumps, man. Ah, uh, but he gets it. He gets it. He can still get an additional 2.5 right here. He can still get an additional 2.5. Because you know he's going to go for 7-7. Seven, seven. But is he going to get 3 and 4? This would be crazy right now. Then he technically have more points. Alright, here we go. 7-7. Seven, seven. He's gotta get it fast. He doesn't have time to dick around here. He's doing well. The good attempts. At that one. Looking good. That was very close. This is a really good extra point for him. Seven seven man, seven seven does not care about you or your family or your emotions. Right? You say to yourself, I really need to get this seven seven to get third place, man, so I get a little bit of cash prize. Seven seven doesn't care that you feel that way. Really, the mistake was is that you thought about those things. Well, you're in this level. Not getting it, but it's for the points. Max are doing good work on the stomp kills right here. He's gonna go for off screen one grab. No clip though, that's okay. Our man needs this. Ah, oh, that finally happened and it friggin' screwed him over. He's running out of time. He is running out of time. Ooh, it's just not working. Oh, he got it. There it is. Holy crap, man. Make scared us there. Freaking scared us. All right. Here we go, dude. If he gets clip three and four, this will be huge for points, man. It will. It'll honestly like. Like, if he got Wrangless, no hands in the clip, like... <laughs> he would beat Haxer, I think. Like, it's crazy. Alright. Here we go. Dude, this will be epic if this happens. This will be epic. Alright, first clip. Oh, that is it. I'm 
Needed those points for sure. So how this is going to work, what he needs Haxer to do is take damage and also die. Haxer will lose 1.5 for dying, and if he damages, he loses the other potential for 1 point. Now, Narfman is behind by a solid 3 to 4 minutes. So, um, it's going to honestly completely, completely be up to the players here. Like, it's like, it's almost not a race anymore. It's more so, like, how you deal with your situation. Like, if Haxer dies, then he would blow the race, pretty much. Um, and if Narf doesn't die and keeps his power up and gets a couple of those special points. But Haxer could get the special points, too. So this is what makes it challenging. Right now, does Haxer get Wrangless? No, very close, though. It's all because the Boomerang Bro did that stupid delay throw. It's all because of that stupid delay throw. All right, we're on the Navy. We are in the Navy. No hands tonight, guys, huh? Four, ra four warpless runs, right? And eight chances at the hands so far. Well, we've only had six and we've got no hands yet. So these would be our next two. Can't believe no hands yet. That's crazy. Looking good, man. Dude, I'm excited to see how this plays out. It's crazy because these point system, they let things be so possible all the way until the very end. All the way until the very end. Yo, they both entered the pipe at the same time? Like, what the fuck? Those odds. Narf man can get the off-screen wand grab right here. Dude, if he got it, that would have been crazy. Alright, Haxer, how many hands? No hands, man. You get the points. First hand shenanigans, man. Bull crap. Looking pretty good. All right. How many more hands does he get, though? Hopefully only this one. Hopefully only this one. Number two, don't miss your A input and fall in the ragu. This hand, this hand level happens like that. Sometimes that happens. You miss the jump input and you fall right. You splash. You take a you take a splash. Alright. We go hand number three. All three hands. I wonder if in the future seasons that should be a punishment. You get punished for all three hands? I don't think that would be very fair. All right, time for the Air Force. Yo, Haxer, Haxer should be stressed right now. I don't know if he thinks he's got it or if he doesn't, but he should be stressed mainly because if he does die or take damage, this can really, really hurt. Let's see here. Let's see what happens. All right. All right. It is Narfman's turn. For Wrangless. If he gets Wrangless, that'll boost him some points. God, this is intense, man. I can't... All right. Don't rush the boom boom too much. All right. You're good. All right, does Narf Man get Wrangless? Did he get Wrangless last run? Dude, if he gets two Wranglesses in a row, that'd be crazy, Pog. Let's see if he gets it. 
Oh, he almost got it, dude. The delay throw. Both him and Haxer almost got it. That's crazy. All right, Haxer. He's on 8-1. Let's see how 8-1 treats him. Pretty good. Nice. He's not going for the fast P speed. Goes for the, the standard P speed, and he nails it. All right. 8-2. Definitely the sand of shame for 8-2. No. Never not. Never not. <sighs> looking pretty- looking pretty hot, man. I- th I think Haxer has this. There's not a whole lot right now. There's not a whole lot right now that Narf Man can really, really help his case. And it doesn't look like Haxer's dying or taking damage anywhere. Right? He falls in that one tile, which is like almost impossible. You'd have to like turn around and go back. Haxer still has the original power up. Pretty good. He's looking good. The only thing you do is let go of down too early here, which is so rare. No. Narf Man getting pulled in by the hand. All the chances for points are leaving Narf Man right now. All right, Haxer just has the last auto scroller, and that is it. The last auto scroller. That's it, man. Oh, we got hit. Are they both going to get all three hands? Dude, you would definitely hate to see that. Woo-wee, man. All three hands. There it is, guys. It actually happened. You got all three hands. Holy crap, man. How does that even happen? Damn, they both, man. Six hands. And two runners right now. Uh, Narf Man has third place right now. So Narf Man officially... Unless... Oh, I shouldn't say that. Unless he dies, that would be a big hate to see it moment. All right, Haxer's last point is the elevator clip. And he's got the world seven points. So, depends on what he does here. I mean, he'll probably go for the clip. I mean, why not, right? Ah, dude, what a trolley clip. Almost busted the teaks going in the door. Alright. Dark man making good work. He's killing the boom boom. Alright, he's out of there. Now he's got the, the trials. The levels. Actually, make sure he doesn't get P speed here. He should be pretty good from here until the end, right? Can't really die here. Alright, yeah, look looks pretty good. Alright, let's see what happens. Hey, he's in there. He is good. Narkman gets the P speed in 8 1. Right on, making good work. Narkman is fighting for third place now. Haxer, original power up, first place, sub 60. Not sub, not sub 54, though. Not the sub 54. Haxer got the 5403. 5403 with 8.5 points. 8.5. Oh, Narf! Loses the power up point there. The power puff girl points. 
He loses that there. He does not get that extra point, though. Oh. Okay, so... I mean, he... Uh... I guess it doesn't matter at this point. You could use the leaf if you wanted to. Uh, to damage boost in this. But I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think it makes much of a difference at all. Oh, he's gonna go for fast P-Speed. Risking it all! Because if he dies... He might not get third place, right? He has to be conscious of the fact that if he dies, he might not get third place right here. Alright, here we go. He's got one more auto scroller left. Now, I will have to say, these races were not Narf Man's top, top games. He did very well in the early game, in World 1 and 2, you can see, he did, he did pretty well, and then, uh... World 3 was okay, but then he just started to slip. Sucks, he lost his first power-up in, uh, World 4. So, yes, uh, he was unable to get those points, man. So he can go for the elevator clip, but he does not get the original power up, which is a big point hit for him. He still gets second place, and he, he looks like he's gonna get a sub 60. It all depends on what happens to him here. Go here. Mm. Mm. All right, come on, elevator clip. He wants third, man. He wants a cash prize, dude. I would, man. Money, bro. Money for playing Mario. Fuck yeah. Oh, he gets it. Right on, man. That puts a smile on his face. Dude, if he got if he got seven nine rangless no hands this clip original power up, he might have won. Like I said before, it is possible. Oh, watch out for that! You don't want to get that. That'll be nasty no nos. He's also eh, he doesn't have time to be dicking around right now. Looking pretty good. Statue room P speed. Don't. <gasps> go 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 go! Oh no! Go! You're running out of time! Oh my god! Oh no! Yo, nice elevator game. Bro, I would not be wasting time. You have two minutes. That is it. You have two minutes or else you lose a, a point. You won't get third place. Yeah, he won't get third place unless he rushes, man. Okay, I think he's safe. He's got a minute and a half. I think he's safe. He dies again, though. Don't die, please. I'm scared right now. Imagine there was like some stupid weird bug that we didn't learn about until now. Like if you're on like the last far left pixel of a block as Bowser bounces on it, like the vibrations end up killing you. <laughs> That'd be so stupid. All right, Narf time with a 59-18. 59-18 with a total points of, he got second place, sub 60, clip, 4.5. All right, 
Right on, guys. Right on. Narf made it. You made it to third place, guys. Give a give a whole bunch of love, not only to all the racers, but Narf Man being the first one. He made it to third place. He is awarded a cash prize. He earned it. He made it. He got the bronze. He made a little bit of money playing Mario 3, participating in my tournament. I think that is a huge milestone. I think that's very, very fantastic. All right, I think that's great. And uh, give the Haxer a huge congratulations on making it to the finals. We are gonna have Teeks versus the Haxer in a time and place at which is comfortable for both of them. And they will need to decide amongst themselves if they wanted a best out of three, a best out of five, or just two races. It's up to them how they wanna do it. So we will wait for them to schedule it. We will wait for them to decide. They will talk. It will take a couple days for them to decide, I'm sure. All right, that was fantastic. The double header semifinals race tonight, guys. Fantastic, I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time too. And again, congratulations to all the racers. Every single racer, we nailed semifinals. 100 bucks, Snarf Man, fantastic. Hopefully season two third place gets a little bit more than 100 bucks, but I think 100 bucks is still dope. Plus, you got money from me. You can say this is 100 bucks to Miss Flower Power Gaming. Like, that's pretty dope. It's pretty dope if you ask me.